Hey guys, John Loxy here, back with our blind playthrough of Barkley, Shut Up and Jam. So, right, so last time we got a second character, Ultimate Hellbane. He gave us some Battler's Tomes, presumably like instructions on how to play the game. Um, obviously I'm wearing the same shirt. I'm recording this fairly shortly after the previous one. Uh, just because I'm actually having a great deal of fun with the game so far. And unfortunately, I don't get to record every single day. I work in a hospital, we take call, and so half the time I'm essentially working. And so, you know, multiple, have to record multiple sessions per day sometimes, per day that I'm able. Uh, now, <clears throat> real fast, if you like my stuff, and you do want to recommend a game, I am more than open to that. Um, I don't really make any promises as far as when or, or how I can get to it, just because I, I choose games mostly based on mood. I finished the last game, and um, and I was like, you know, I don't know what I want to play. I was looking through my list, I'm like, eh. And then I came across like a, a collage of like free games, and I'm like, you know, I've been meaning to play Barkley Shut Up and Jam. I should really play that, so here we are. But like I said, if you do have any sort of recommendation, by all means, I, I, I really do want to play good and interesting games, that, especially if I haven't played them. So let's go through this Battler Tome, Battle Fundamentals. Fundaments. Wow. While traversing the plains, you will undoubtedly encounter ghastly creatures. Below lies battle fundamentals. Attacks use muscul muscle strength to determine damage on a monster minus their guard. Okay. Brain attunement. Oh, hey, Jack. Any more cats underneath me? Uh, brain attunement will affect the damage you take and deal from skills. So to be sure, so be sure to be as sharp as a jewel encrusted dirk. Speed will allow you to more accurately hit ghoulies and dodge attacks, in addition to being granted more turns. Aha! Uh -huh. VP is your vitality points, and once depleted, it will banish your soul to hell. VP dictates how many skills you can use before resting. Okay, so that makes sense. Attack is pretty standard. If you're hearing any weird sounds, that's Jack rubbing his face against the boom holding the microphone. Brain attunement. So brain is... Do we have a... Where's my... Hello there, Jack. Do not step on the keyboard. I will not be happy with that if you do. Here, here, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, I'll just pick you up. I'll just pick you up, my cutie. All right, here we go. That's good. Okay. Guard... Wait, where are you going? Guard must, de must be defense. Brain has to be your magic attack, magic defense. Power must be your strength, I guess. And then speed is, is speed. Do you... I love you, but... You know, I'm kind of in the middle of something, weirdo cat. Oh my gosh, I love you. <laughs> Anyone else's cat's super clingy? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here. Oh, okay. Here, I'm just gonna hold you like this, just just for now. Okay, hang on. Rub your face. Okay, let's see if I can do it one-handed for the time being. Battler Tome One. Attacks use muscle strength to determine. So it doesn't say anything about power, but I assume that's what power is. Brain attunement, speed, VP, got it. Let's check two. Status conditions. Once battling fiends and foes, you may have will encounter an ailment to impede your travels. Glance below at the most common ails. Montezumas, so diarrhea. Guard halved for three turns. Handy capable. Brain have for three turns. Timeout speed have for three turns. Stroke lie dormant for three turns. Fouled, miss a turn. Don't go up there. Just kind of relax here with me. Fouled is miss a turn. Uh, below conditions will stick after battle. Be sure to disinfect your wounds. 
diabetes lose i'm sorry i didn't mean to scare you lose five percent of vitality each turn glaucoma hit percent halved Ooh, that's no good that blindness diabetes is poison which is fairly accurate actually asperger's makes social situations awkward what does that mean is there like does it affect quick time events and then parkinson's power halved okay Uh, stat curses and blessings. In battle, you can be blessed with higher stats or cursed with lower stats. Always count your blessings. Never fail to curse your foes. Targeting every ghast has intrinsic weaknesses. Use the proper moves to exile your foes to a certain demise. Items and ungents. Unguents? I don't know how you pronounce that. Officially. Always use potions when your VP is dire, and be sure to re revive allies and cure ailments that are damaging. You are so cute. Gold. Spend your zenny wealth wisely. Money is yet another tool of battle. Hmm. My cats are always here, by the way. If you do like cats, this is probably one of the channels for you because they are always getting in the way and showing up. Lastly, preparation can be the difference between life and non-existence. All right. Well, let's give this a try, though. We have two ways, up or down. Oh, let's let's try a battle. Yep. So as soon as they turn to see me, it's time to slam jam. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, as soon as they see us, they basically run. So I guess we can probably avoid them. So we have Blitz, Zauber, conjure Zauber powers to stifle foes. That's your skills, I suppose. Run from battle. Item and counter. I wonder how many of these are character specific. Uh, cat hair, Jack. Thank you. Let's just try Blitz. Or wait. I guess Blitz is your normal attack. Choose an enemy to attack. Action key is Zauber slash. Cancel key, stab, dash, start key, Zeta scan, all foe. I'm a little confused, but okay. Left or right for attack information. Zeta flash, slow all enemy targets, sets back all enemy turn counters by 20%. Zauber slash, 200 base accuracy, brain damage. Mash the action key during travel to increase damage dealt on impact. Works well against foes with low brain. Um, stab dash. 200 base accuracy physical damage. Press the cancel key to stab dash. Press again when the symbols turn red. Works well against enemies with low guard. Uh, okay. I'm going to hit cancel. See if that potentially selects stab dash. Oh, sh okay. I screwed that one up. So, he gets guard, get a guard bonus, slam or jam, use deadly verbo 10 jams to inflict damage, or shots. Free throw, pass, up key, plus left to right is jumper. Okay. So this is a little bit more complicated than just a standard, like, select your attack and, and choose attack, right? It's more like Super Mario RPG. Is that the one? 0 to 150% base accuracy, low damage, hold and release to line up with the indicator for maximum accuracy. Shoot two shots, target using left and right. 50% base accuracy, high damage, hold and release when the b-ball lines up with the indicator. And 100% base accuracy, high damage. Hold and release at the height of the jump for maximum damage. Reduces guard until the next turn. Oh. Left and up key. Forward jumper. Up key. Right key. Right and up. Fade away. I see. Up key and left and right is jumper. Okay. 
Can I select it from here or can I select from anywhere? Is I see. I see. Okay. Got it. Create a wall of fire to lower enemy attack. <sighs> oh, I see. There's the BP. So this is 20. Now let's try it. All right. Gain 62. Found 37 Neo Shekels. A little weird. A little weird. Okay. Let us... Uh, we're gonna run back to the save point. Wait, can I... What are you doing, Jack? Gonna jump up there? Okay. Um... Level 1 Zob Mancer. Skills Flame Zobber, Ice Zobber. Skills Double Team. <coughs> Excuse me. So how do I... Can I just look at the... Okay. B-Ball Catacombs. Did that refill any of our stuff? No. No, it didn't. Good to know. Let's go this way. We're going to go up. Do enemies respawn when you go in and outdoors? Looks like no. We'll go up. We're gonna have to fight again. Not that I mind, I'm just still... The system, Zomballer. Well, okay. Zobber slash stab dash. Slow all enemy targets. Uh, Let's try this one. Mash the action key. Uh, okay. Double team bamboozles the enemy with shots from all angles. We'll try it, I guess. Okay. Um. All right then. Okay, so it seems like your zauber or your skills are very effective. What's this? A sarcophagus? Yes, Barkley. This is the final resting place of a baller long lost to the annals of history. In my spare time, I like to study the inscriptions around the sarcophagi and glean as much knowledge as I can about the ballers that reside within them. I'm a bit of a b-ball historian, you see. So what have you learned from them? Oh, this and that. Mostly they're about shoes or incredible plays. Nothing particularly amazing. There's been one I've been struggling with recently, though. It goes into quite specific detail about a disaster that will take place in 2053. It has to be a mistransla mistranslation or a bad calculation. There is almost no way this could happen. Like the Chaos Dunk in Manhattan? No, no, don't get me wrong. This is a tragedy, but what I've been reading, it can only spell the disaster of mankind. I, I see. No, I don't think you do. Okay, we should move on. And this just ends, right? Yes. But what about here? The sarcophagus, it's open. Yes, Barkley. Ancient b-ball magics haunt these call halls, causing the dead to rise. Is that a joke? Are you trying to bamboozle me? The joke's on you if you choose not to believe me, but forget it, Barkley. You're an old man stuck in your ways. You'll soon see the truth. We'll see about that. Okay. Interesting, I suppose.
All right, do we want to fight this guy? I think yes. Can we... What happens if we get to them from behind? It's green. Ball brain two. I see. Um... Ah... Uh, yes. Zauber slash stab dash or... Zeta scan all foe. Let's do... Let's do the Zeta scan, I suppose. It didn't do... I mean, it doesn't do any damage, but it'll... Hopefully help. Guard... Okay, so what do you have here? Low damage. Very high damage. Hold and release. Oh, jeez. Damn it. Well, it hit. That's good. Uh, try this one. Okay, that's better. Free throw. We could try the free throw. Hold and release. Shoot two shots. Okay. Oh yeah, it's a lot slower. Oh, I see. And you hold it each time. Well. Montezuma's Revenge. What does that do again? I don't remember. It's not super important. Uh, works well against foes with low brain. Oh, there's multiple. Let's try... How to fade away. Okay, so, whoa. That's kind of cool. Oh, it says speed down. Got it. Let's try the, um, let's try the cancel. I'm not, uh, let's do the cancel. Okay, so... Could be the signal from my finger to the brain, or my brain to the finger, but... Um... It could be delayed a little bit as well, that's possible. This tomb belongs to the B-Ball Alstar Magic John All-Star. I thought it said Alistair for a second. All-Star Magic Johnson. I was never fortunate enough to see it, Barkley, but the text state the two of you had a number of terrific showdowns. I believe the phrase that would have been used in your times was that you rocked the house. I can see you're no greenhorn when it comes to pre-21st century b-ball vernacular and colloquialisms. I shall take that as a compliment. <laughs> okay, same... Same thing. So we have two choices. Uh, hang on real fast. Um, yeah, okay, that's fine. Poured myself a beer, but the, the head is like super thick for some reason. I could go down or I could go to the right. Good. Space Dust IPA. Let's try down first. Let's go peek at the right. Uh huh. What are those? What are those statue looking things? I mean, I see the dude, but then what is in the next one? Probably enemies as well. What is this statue? It's not a statue, Barkley. 
It is a canopic urn filled with the entrails of one of the prehistoric ballers. The early ballers believed that if they put their internal organs in urns after death, their souls would find rest in the b-ball dimension. That's a ridiculous thing to believe. You have to remember that the early ballers were primitive peoples that used the gods to explain life and natural phenomena. For example, one inscription states that the ancient b-ball players believed that thunder was the result of the gods playing basketball in the sky. Hmm, I wonder what Clisbaths would say about that. I do not know. Many of these ballers were buried before the time of Clisbath. Let's go. Okay. I don't know... This urn in particular, this urn baffles me. Why is that? I don't know which way we're supposed to go. This is the urn of a baller, one GW Carver or some such, who lived during the cyber apocalypse. Now that it's nothing now that's nothing out of the ordinary, but there were there were hundreds, if not thousands, of ballers then. But one particularly interesting inscription on the urn reads Slammed for the cycle of a hundred suns. What's so interesting about that? This man lived in the era of the cyberpocalypse, Barkley. If what the hieroglyphic state is true, then the book of B Ball may need to be rewritten. The slam was not said to have been invented until nigh on into the post-cyberpocalypse. This GW Carver could very well be the originator of slams and jams. At the very least, this could confirm the existence of the slam in that era. Uh, amazing. There's one hieroglyphic I can't quite decipher, though. It seems to be a legume of some sort. I can only make this statement based on conjecture, but I believe it to be an ancient symbol of power. Perhaps the world will never know. Yeah, I'm not I'm not quite sure. Okay, the music. What is what is this? Ah crap. Well Yeah, you don't want to turn away. Zomballer ball brain. Let us We will do the Zeta scan. If we slow him down, that is good. Let's do the Zomballer. We're gonna try... We're gonna try this one. Okay, that was terrible. Thankfully, we seem to have a decent amount of hit points. And that seems to be okay. I'm gonna try it again. Okay, that's not worth it anymore. It's just I suck too much. And... Works well against enemies with low guard. So, not, not super great. Not super great. We'll try the free throw. Really? How does that work? Um... Contaminated Gatorade. <laughs> okay. Um... I guess we'll do a... Just up. I'll take it. So it seems like they always do the top attack, or attack the top person first, which makes sense. Um, let's do, what is it, up and away to get more guard. Does seem to help. Is this got three ecto coolers oh that's right we have items okay hmm so down is probably the way to go first to eliminate 
you know. Maybe there's, uh, I'm hoping it's like a dead end. And 126 out of 380. Um, hmm. Oh, well. Slam Spectre Ball Brain. Right. We'll do that. And then, um... Get a little extra guard. Oh, interesting. They're both going after him. That's kind of unexpected. See if we can do more, a little more damage. Oh, contaminated Gatorade. Still. like the jump better <clears throat> if I could do oh learn showboat jam water zauber showboat jam eh is this another statue of the ultimate b-ball yes Barkley the ring around it symbolizes the ring of friendship formed when Michael Jordan helped the Looney Tunes defeat the monsters in the space jam the power of the ultimate b-ball is revered by ballers but also feared they recognized the unlimited potential of a ball containing the abilities of the best ballers ever, but also knew that if the ball got into the wrong hands, the damage could be irreparable. Don't give me a history lesson. I was at the Space Jam. I was part of the ball. I know firsthand the immeasurable power that ball contained. Don't patronize me. You're correct. You don't need a history lesson. Let's move on. Okay, so getting a level does not heal your stuff. It does appear to have raised the stats, though, which is key. And do we want to go down? This is the tomb of Larry Johnson. Larry? I, I've never seen a man slam like he did. You get this look in his eye, this wild look that told you that something was up, and then out of the nowhere he'd snatch that ball and slam it like a true mamma jamma. There was so much I could have learned from him. There was a lot we all could have learned from him, Barkley, but there's no looking back. We can, re we can regret our mistakes for all our lives, or we can keep moving forward like he would have wanted. You, you're right. We always have to keep moving forward, no matter how bad it hurts. Oh. Wait, what's this? Got one b-ball... Tears? Thank you, Larry, and goodbye. The tear of an ancient baller. Single brain points. Okay. So it's another healing item. Ecto cooler. Apply liberally to wounds. Yeah. The heck? Frickin' fly. Oh yeah, I see you. This sarcophagus, it's exactly seven feet, six inches tall. This, this has to belong to, yes, Sean Bradley. I was going through a difficult period of my life, and I wasn't so sure I could trust white people. Sean, Sean helped me out and made me realize it's not on the outside that matters, but the inside. He was a good center, Barkley, but he was a better man. Goodbye, Sean. Thank you for everything. Wait, what's this? Got one b-ball tears. This is very emotional. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah. And we'll do Zeta Scan, there we go. What about you? Go for this one, I think. I'm gonna try the Cancel Key again. Man, I suck. I wonder if getting more brain helps with that, helps slow it down. Yeah, 
It may not. Um, we'll just do a normal. That seems to do a good amount of damage, so. Okay, what about you? What about the free throw? That's actually pretty decent. Except the... The miss really sucks. It sucks to miss. I almost feel like that's just better overall. It doesn't seem to miss, you know, in the same way. And I think I'm gonna have to use a item. You recognize her, don't you, Barkley? Teresa, the patron saint of slams and jams. But what that's what's that got to do with me now? It's truly our dark times we're living in, if you've forgotten your former mistress of b-ball, Teresa. That shit doesn't matter anymore. There's no place for b-ball in this world. I don't see the glory of slams and jams when I see this statue. I see only broken dreams and hollow memories. So be it. The ball in the center, that is... Yes, Barkley, the ball. Rather, it is not the actual ball you were trapped in during the Space Jam, but it is a scale representation of it. I studied both this statue and this tomb extensively in my research, and I have found it to be quite fascinating. This is the crypt of Muggsy Bogues and Patrick Ewing. They were both in the ball with me. They were close friends of mine before the Purge. Sometimes I... I miss them. The ball. It contained massive powers. Of course, you knew this. You were inside of it. You were its source of power. There is something I've always wanted to ask you, Barkley. What was it like to be trapped inside a bee ball? I, I don't remember much. It was dark and I remember feeling so weak. So weak. But then again, they were harvesting my bee ball energy. There was no doubt in my mind that once the Monstars won the Space Jam, they would have used the ball for ill purposes, possibly even... Enough. Let's move on. Wait, what's this? Got one bee ball shards. What is a bee ball shard? Okay, so it restores your ball points. What does this one say? It says, here lies Patrick Ewing, born a slave, died a starting center. True words have never been spoken. Just before the great bee ball purge, he said that I was like a brother to him, like the little brother he never had. He was my best friend. Patrick, I, I just wanted to say goodbye one last time. What? What is this? One b-ball tear. This is the final resting place of Mug Muggsy Bogues, one of the finest point guards in basketball history. <coughs> you okay, Jack? <coughs> he was more than just a good point guard, he was a good friend. I, I was responsible for his death. He was one of the first killed in the Great B-Ball Purge. I never got to say goodbye. What's this? Did a tear just come from the sarcophagus? Got one B-Ball Tears. Thank you, Muggsy. Thank you. <sighs> so... Oh yeah, we're out of... Out of stamina! Hmm. Watch your step, Barkley. The footing isn't so stable. Oh, okay. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, crap. Well, alright. Oh. You surprised the enemy. Um... I didn't expect there'd be three of them. Oh, that's... Well, okay, so you can't go back once you select an enemy. At least that one, you know... Hit both times. Um, yeah, we'll just do... Barkley is hurting. And 
Let's see. Uh, do a fade away. Yeah, it's not super great. Still, that helped. All right. So this, I mean, it's interesting. It's it's kind of funny. It's not. Do I? Let's let's heal. <coughs> Damn, excuse me. Ecto cooler on myself. Right on. Ecto cooler was, I remember this, was a, I think it was orange flavored. I don't, I never had it. I just remember it around. Oh, if you hold the button, it kind of goes through. Um, I believe it was a high C. <clears throat> like an orange flavored high C. Man, I'm really congested, which is awful. Oh, crap. I wonder if it's just better just to attack or. As far as that, like, that gives you 60. It might be... Oh, he's hurting, too. Might be better just to do free throws. Ah! See, not if you miss, like, half the shots. Okay. Well, that's no good. Um, we'll take it. All right. Kicks a ball at us. Zomballer. I wonder who he's supposed to be. Don't know. Neo shekels. All right. What's this pool? This pool commemorates the lives of all the ballers who were never seen again after the great b-ball purge. Men like Shaquille O'Neal, we're gonna check that empty sarcophagus as well. Ron Artest and even the great Hakeem Olajuwon. Although they were never found, all their fates are almost certain. All of this, this is my fault. This is my fault because of the chaos dunk. If I were never born, these great men would have never had to... Barkley, get a hold of yourself. You can't keep blaming yourself for something that was entirely out of your control. The guilt I've been living with. The chaos dunk. Hellbane, my greatness at, at the one thing I loved most is not... Is what not only ruined it, but ended the lives of so many great ballers. It's like fate chose me to end the greatest era of man. To herald the cyberpocalypse. When basketball died, so did the camaraderie at birth. When basketball died, so too did the goodwill and hope that it fostered. The great b-ball purge wasn't the death of basketball, it was the death of mankind. Something you said struck me, Barkley. What? You said that fate chose you. Yes? Maybe you're right, Barkley. Maybe fate did choose you to destroy b-ball. Maybe fate chose you to end the greatest game that mankind has ever been given. But I don't think so. I think that fate chose you for something far greater. I think fate chose you to redeem b-ball. To give it a clean slate and fresh start. Right before the purge, Barkley, B-Ball lost sight of the two most important parts of the game. Slams and jams. It's <laughs> it stopped being about the slams and instead the Neo Shekels. It stopped being about the jams and about the endorsements. I don't think of you as a devil, Charles Barkley. I think of you as an angel. This is amazing. Who, who are you? I can't tell you now, but... But you will soon understand. Come on, we've got to get moving. Yeah, you're right. All right, let's check this. It's open. Watch where you step, Barkley. Slam phantoms or zomballers could be anywhere, even beneath us. I'll keep that in mind. 
So I feel like this is the correct path forward. So we're gonna go back. How are we doing on time? Time is running short. Oh, well, okay. It's time to slam jam. Well... See, that's, that's good. They do attack, though. If I can get this... Zero? Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, speed minus seven, so we want to go and hurt the guy without a head. You know, that's something. Aye. Cured Montezuma's Revenge. That's good, at least. Um, they all seem to be going after... Hellbane? Ah, oh, crap. Oh, counter. Oh, man. Well, that's no good. I should... I wonder if it's a defensive counter as well. That's the question, right? Does he avoid taking damage? Okay, we tried. We tried. Let's uh, do... And we'll keep doing this, because it... It helps, right? It... Well, does it? That's the question. Oh, no, we should have... So you counter. Try doing this. Interesting. I think it hit him, though. take it. That must be... I don't know if it actually hurt him, though. Am I supposed to be doing the actual, like, the hitting the button when he does that? Right. This is accuracy, not... Not, uh, not damage. So, that's good to know. Jacket, which I assume is equipment. The Square Enix Goya logo is on the back. Well, it ups his guard. I think that's important. Rags. Hmm. Okay. Man. I think we have to stop. I think we have to go back. Okay, there's nothing down there. And we have a puzzle. 
This contraption in intrigues me. I've yet to find out what its purpose is. Looks like it's one of those spinning globes, only a b-ball instead. I wonder if it still spins. Huh? Did you see that? Hmm, it appears this is some kind of ancient device. Turning the b-ball seems to shift the tiles below. This may... I don't got time for shifting tiles, pal. May lead to a valuable treasure. Treasure? Like the forbidden dunk texts? Nothing is certain. Be if we manage... But? It's supposed to be but. I think. But if we manage to solve this conundrum, we may reveal ancient baller possessions. Okay, move keys, move cursor, action key, shift the cursor tile, or cancel key, leave. Oh, yeah, yeah. Who, which, how are you going to move? Okay, so... What is, let's see, this one goes to the bottom right. Um, so we need to do... Um... Did you hear that? A tile below seemed to pop up. It's... it's... Gatorade gum? Got one Gatorade gum. Wow, I thought this gum was only a myth. This is certainly a great find, Barkley. Alright, I had enough of this room. I concur. We need to go further on. Interesting. Adds plus one to mysteriousness. Turns rock solid upon air exposure. Single permanent VP plus 25. Wow. Interesting. Um. Well, it looks like the enemies don't respawn, which is good. I think we need to use an Ecto Cooler on this dude. I would love an actual, like, heal. Or, uh... Let's go this way. Okay. Save point vending machine. We know save points don't actually uh, do anything. So all I can do is assume that this is... There's a save point, right? So it's the way forward. So let's go down here. We'll kill this dude. We'll uh, take whatever's in the chest. Oh, crap. I thought he was going to turn around and... Well, it's too late. I need to read that description again. And also... Oh, really? Ow. Ow. Um, yeah, okay. Brain damage. Bows with low brain. Enemies with low guard. Slow all enemy targets. So it just sets back all enemy turn counters by 20%. I don't know if it actually slows them. So it might not even really be worth doing. Uh, let's see. And... Base accuracy. Oh, it's a random base accuracy. I see. Medium damage. But it's still, I mean, if you can get both, it's it's worth it. Ooh, this is new. Counter. And 
it said left and right as target, so... Oh. Okay. No one attacked him. Ooh, oh no. So those guys are really bad. Really bad. Um, cure status ailments. Tier of an ancient ball. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Man, we might have to use tobacco. Uh, we'll see, though. Ouch. Wow, they're, uh, we're getting messed up here. Okay, so first, we're gonna use some Ecto Cooler on myself. And then, uh... Man, we're gonna have to hold off. No, you're supposed to attack the other dude with the, with the counter. That works. Yeah. That's no great. No good or no great. All right, Montezuma's Revenge, fair enough. Okay, level three. Level three is good. Okay, so first things first. Gotta use some tobacco. Not happy about it. Shoot tick two chicken dews. The do of a chicken fry. Single revive, full health. Nice. Okay. Wait, what does Montezuma's Revenge do again? Uh, guard halved for three turns. Okay, that make that might make sense, I guess. Which way do I go? Or if I go down, is it going to loop back around to over here? That's the question. Um. It might. It might. We'll just save, right? We'll hit. We'll hit up here and, and first. A bape. What's a bape? The hottest kicks in the post cyber apocalypse. Speed plus three. Um, okay. What about you? Oh, it drops his brain. Uh, no, we'll go with, go with him because it looks like Maureen's ring increases it, increases uh, speed as well. Maureen's wedding ring. Ouch. plus one well I assume vending machine you could buy stuff at is is this what I think it is yes a relic from old times to be sure from what I've studied I would assume the massive amounts of b-ball neutrinos created from the first chaos dunk lie dormant in the machine as a sort of power source what it still works all right let's check this out vending machine what do you want to do buy items hack or leave Insufficient science points failed to hack the vending machine. Okay, well. Protein paste, ecto cooler. Protein paste is more economical. 23 versus 66. Chicken fries. 
F stone multivitamin. Oh, excuse me. Um, B ball juice. Ah, uh, insulin cure diabetes. Yeah, so your cure all is something you want to kind of hold on to. And, uh, the individual stuff you want to have if you can. Because it's way cheaper. Um, for now, we're, we won't purchase anything. We'll, we'll, it's going to take a second to talk to the pump. And, uh, then we'll save. And then we'll... Man, this is gonna be a long freaking game. I can already tell. It should be no surprise to anyone with a passing familiarity with VidCons that Pocky is the ideal food to snack on when, paying mention... when playing mentioned object. Although playing is an inappropriate word because you experience rather than play a VidCon. I shall use playing for the sake of simplicity. For those ignorant of the intricacies of this fine Japanese cuisine, imagine a delicate stick of sweetened bread about the width and l length of a chopstick, its tip coated in the richest chocolate imaginable. The bold flavor of the chocolate is complemented by the small nuts that caress the tip, creating a culinary juxtaposition of sweetness and saltiness that can only have been hatched in the mind of a chef versed in the subtle paradoxes of Eastern cooking. They are light and easy to eat and hold, useful for vidconning on the go, and their sugar content add that extra boost for late night vidcons. Therefore, Pocky has garnered itself the precious title of Ultimate Vidcon Snack. Perhaps the only drawback of Pocky is its limited availability in the West, though this cannot be attributed to the snack itself, but the infuriating baboons that think they're running grocery stores. Okay. Let's go to number three. Man. Okay. At least we have more money. All right, guys. Well, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it. Let me uh, pull my chair back a little bit just to make sure there's no kitties under me. Um, yeah, I really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. I, I really do. Uh, I'm, I'm still not quite sure what to think about this. I like it. I like it so far. It is very Super Mario RPG, which is not bad. That's not bad. I enjoy it. I didn't know... I didn't know it was going to be quite an RPG, though. Um, but it's all right. You know, it's, it's fun. And it's free, so I recommend it. Uh, what is your guys' unique pocket... Unique pocket? Unique positive moment for today... Uh, for me, it's actually, it is the beer, although it's not specifically the the brand. Uh, it's because I, I got it on sale for like 30% off. It's going to expire, I guess, in four months, or expire, you know, in four months. So I'm like, I mean, I'll, I'll drink it by then, for sure. But, you know, I got it for like 30% off. I was going to say, I think I got it for like 8 bucks. Instead of 11 Either way, it's a good deal. Uh, and that's my unique positive moment. Hopefully your guys is just as good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. Sorry I yawn so much, I, I don't really sleep very well, but... And while I'm into the... You can tell I'm into the game, because I'm not yawning, and then I stop, and I'm like, oh, I you know, start. But, uh, but I do hope your guys experience unique positive moment, or whatever, was just as, as good as mine, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. Till then, guys, take care.